Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 flu, we all be tracking websites like this to see real-time data of infected people. So I have decided to make something on this. After lots of ideas, I have made this ESP8266 based real-time COVID-19 display whose demo video you can see right now. This display is showing number of infected and recovered people as well as total number of deaths occurred globally and also it shows data of some specific countries like India, USA, Germany, Spain and Italy. It gets connected to the Wi-Fi network and fetch data directly from the internet. For this project, I have used Node MCU board which is based on ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Also for display, I used 1.3 inch color display. It has a pixel size of 240 by 240 pixel and it is based on ST7789 TFT driver. Now I connected everything on breadboard according to this diagram. Now. For getting data, I have used this website. This website name is corona19api.herokuapp.com. So as you can see, it shows global data as well as it's all the global cases, global deaths, as well as recovered people. Now also you can see here, it shows data country wise, as you can see. It shows data from USA, Italy, Spain. Also, you can search any country like India. It shows cases of India, how many deaths as well as how many people have recovered till now. So we are going to use the API of this website. Fortunately, I found all the APIs of this website on this GitHub page. As you can see on this GitHub page, API links are given as you can see this API link can be used for the global info it gives the global info uh, this UPI is used for, for getting data of all the countries now this API which we are going to use in our application we can get data of a specific country now let's see how this API APIs work when I click on this link it gives data of cases, deaths and recovered. It's a global data. Now, for getting data of uh, any specific country, we can open this link and now we need to edit this. Copy C, V, place of country name, we can place India. And as you can see, it gives a data which we need. It's a country name, India, cases, today cases, death, and people recovered and active cases, and so on. So you can use any data, whatever you want to display on the screen. That's all for the data. For this project, you need some libraries to be installed. So I'm gonna tell you how to install libraries. First, we are gonna install ESP8266 library. For installing ESP8266 library, you need to go to file option and then select preferences and then paste the URL in additional board manager URL. After that, you need to go to tools option, select board manager. Wait for some time and now search ESP8266. Now you need to select the version and install it. A few moments later. After successful installation, as you can see, it is showing installed. Now I'm gonna install Arduino JSON library. For that, you need to go to Sketch, Include Library, and Manage Libraries option. Now search for Arduino JSON. Select the version 
5.12. Make sure that you install this version only. Click on install and now you can see libraries installed. Now for display we are gonna use tft spi.h library. So for installing that you need to repeat the procedure search for tft underscore spi in a library manager and make sure you install the latest version of the library. Now for using the display you need to copy the user setup.h header file and you need to replace it with its destination. Make sure you replace the file. Now after installing all the libraries you need to open this Arduino file. Now you need to change the Wi-Fi parameters. You need to enter your Wi-Fi credentials, name as well as password. After that you can click on upload button. It may take longer than usual to compile this code and after the successful uploading you can see your project working. Now let's understand how this code works. First of all I have included all the libraries which I am going to use in this code. So ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h is used for ESP8266 port. TFT ESPI.h is used for display. ESP8266 HTTP client is used for parsing. Now what is this parsing? I am going to tell you in my upcoming videos. Arduino JSON.h is used to get the data from the internet into the JSON format. After that we have included bitmap.h header file. This file you can see here. This bitmap, bitmap file contains hexadecimal codes of all the images that we are going to use in this project. In freefonts.h we have freefont.h it is used for fonts that we are going to use in this project. After that I have defined some constants also integers which we are going to use for displaying the numbers for recovery cases and death abc namely. Also these are the Wi-Fi parameters used for, for the Wi-Fi connection. After that we are going to initialize serial monitor as well as after that we are gonna call this function tft.begin for initializing this st7789 chip. This line is gonna push the image of Wi-Fi which we are gonna see only once in this project when it gets restarted for the first time. After that let's get into the loop when Wi-Fi is, is going to be connected with our ESP, after that it's going to get data. This get data function is declared by me in this, uh, in this code. This get data function passes this URL as the C the function. This get, get data function takes a URL and passes to the code or also this get data function also returns a b and c these are the values of cases recovered and deaths now let's see how we get a data from internet that link that you are a link how we get data of people's like cases and recovered here in http.begin we have we have pasted the link which which is going to be passed by a function and then it's going to get the data gets this the data by the by the by this code and with the help of this code we are again we are going to get all the data in a b and c after that just get back to it after that we are going to display a b c and world this this is a function which is also declared by me here is a display function this this display function uses gets the value of cases people recovered also the people who are dead and this is for the image by this function we can get all the all the things displayed on the display 
That's all about the code. Hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, do subscribe to our channel.